millions of Americans pop a daily aspirin to cut their risk of a heart attack. Well, now the government says many people might also want to take a statin drug to prevent high cholesterol, even if their numbers are fine right now. CBS medical editor Dr. Dave Knight is joining us. And of course, there's a big difference between a statin and an aspirin. And because of that, there is a big controversy okay. going on yeah. because of this drug approval. So here's what you need to do. Get ready for a big advertising campaign. You're going to be told you may want to take the statin drug Crestor to lower your risk of a heart attack, even if your cholesterol is normal. The worry among experts, the ads are not going to give you the whole story. Crestor is a very good medication when it comes to lowering cholesterol. But should you take it if your numbers are okay? Well, that's just what the manufacturer wants you to do, and all with the blessing of the FDA. Actually, it's really kind of a questionable call, taking a drug even when you're healthy. After all, a drug is a drug and can have side effects, quite a few more than popping a little baby aspirin every day. First thing to think about is the issue of expense. Pennies for an aspirin, dollars for a statin. Then comes the issue of safety. Statins can strain your liver, and that's why if you're on a statin, we're always having you come in for blood tests. Another problem is the side effect of muscle pain. In some cases with statins, it's so severe the drug needs to be stopped. And then there's one more concern. A new study says statins may raise your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by close to 10%. These are certainly not light issues and need to be considered very seriously before saying yes to Crestor. Now, one of the problems with all of this is kind of a shift from measuring your cholesterol to measuring inflammation in your body with a blood test called a CRP. But we don't know for a fact that having a high CRP puts you at risk for a heart attack. And so really what they're going to be doing is measuring CRP levels in people, especially people over the age of 50 with risk factors for heart disease. And if it's elevated, even if they have normal cholesterol, well, they're going to get pushed into go. the direction to take it. Mm -hmm. it. may not be better than simple lifestyle changes for a lot of folks. It's kind of surprising the FDA approved this. Seems surprising anyway. There are a lot of things the FDA does, I think, leaves us all shaking our heads. All yes. Right. Thanks, Dr. Dave. And you're always sort of sorted out. <laughs> we appreciate that. that. Remember, you can find more medical news from Dr. Dave by visiting Dave's blog. You'll find it on the health page at cbs4denver.com.